As a matter of fact, there are 86,400 seconds in a day, 24 hours makes up a day. So, you know, the question today is how are you going to utilize today the 24 hours and 86,400 seconds that you have today? 86,400 seconds, sure, it sounds big, but by the time you just close your eyes, you realize it's all gone. And uh, we we'll hope you definitely make something good out of it. I won't say it's on that note that I'm welcoming you because I know Precious is definitely looking out to look, you know, to say something about on that note. But you're welcome to the Monday edition of Super Done on Super Screen Television, UHF 45 and Star Times Channel 173. My name is Olamide Onka. And a very, very beautiful morning to you. Many thanks for joining us on the very first day of the week. It's January 21st, 2019. I am Precious Amayu. And it is on that note that I am going to say... <laughs> it's always on a note. It is on a note. On a note. Which, yes. the, the question is, which note? Is it which the high the, key or the low note? I think note? we're using the leaves, the leaves notes now, ah. the 80 leaves notes. That's what we're using. Leaves. Okay. It's always on a note. But um, we talked about 86,400 seconds, seconds in a day. day. And, um, you know, we always, people always say, and I mean, it's a common saying that, um, your, your life consists of your time. So when mm. you waste of your, you waste your, your, your time, um, it is not time you're actually wasting. It's, it's, it's your life mm. that you're wasting. Because again, we measure our lives by years. So you say, oh, um, I'm two years old. I'm 15 years old. I'm 20 years old. And years consist of time. So as much as you're wasting the day, you're actually wasting your life. So you must take time seriously. It's actually beautiful that, you know, you start from milliseconds to seconds mm -hmm. to minutes to hours to days and weeks and, weeks and months, months and, and now, yeah. Uh, it's, it's just amazing because uh, I, I, I go back a bit and I remember just on the 31st night and stroke first, where we shouted Happy New Year and it's already 21st of January. Uh, January. This is the How shortest January I've ever seen. I mean, it. it's amazing. I don't know. It's really short for me, I feel, you know, because some people will tell you January is the longest mm -hmm. month of the year, you know, for several reasons. You know, people coming back from expenditures that they get to make during like the festivities. Dragging. Uh, but this is really fast. It's, I don't know. It's a fast January. And it, it also shows you that there is no time to sit around and pity yourself. There is no time to sit around and then wonder what you're going to do with yourself or mm -hmm. play around you must take um, advantage of every minute to do something important. I'm not, it doesn't mean that you don't get to rest, mm. but it just means that you must walk while it is day. Definitely. You should consider motivational speaking. Well, you I, should. I, <laughs> I think you, you try better in that field. Thank you very All much. All right, guys. So uh, we have so many things that we'll be looking at today. Remember what uh, we brought you the presidential debate on super screen television. And I'm sure a lot of people uh, were actually glued to their seat where some people were disappointed with uh, the turnout uh, or perhaps the, uh, the event that unfurled. But uh, we'll be looking at it uh, with a more introspective uh, perspective today. So we'll be looking at it deeper. But first, we'll take a short break. And when we come back, it'll be time for us to look at the latest on the dailies with the newspaper review segment. Stay with us. Super Dawn continues after this break.
All right, you welcome back to Super Dawn, and it's time for us to look at the latest on the dailies this morning. And we we'll have four papers this morning that we'll be reviewing. We have the Nation newspaper, we have the Daily Trust, and we have Vanguard and Punch newspaper being the 21st day of January 2019. So we'll start with the Punch newspaper. And uh, the first story we'll take on the Punch newspaper says APC kicks, as Obasanjo says, Buari behaving like a bacha apc kicks as obasanjo says buari behaving like a bacha and uh, this other story on the punch newspaper says alleged fraud or tom attacks fg over move to probe atiku alleged fraud or tom attacks fg over move to probe atiku uh, just uh, this other story says obasanjo chides or shibajo says trade and money an absurdity uh trade and money and absurdity and that's coming from the former president of nigeria we'll also take this story still on the pages of uh, punch news it says last month driver taco fire over damage to boss in accident last month driver taco fire over damage to boss in accident and then the final one we'll take is this one regarding uh, the uh, 2019 presidential election. It says, Ezekwesili is best alternative to Buari Atiku, says Bakare. Ezekwesili is best alternative to Buari Atiku, says Bakare. And that's the much we'll take on the uh, pages of the Punch newspaper today. All right, moving away from the Punch newspaper now to the Nation newspaper. The headline here reads, Asu restates condition. Asu restates condition. Um, that's probably um, to end the strike. Either Asu is restating conditions. Um, away from that story, federal government to send foreign experts packing. Um, FG to send foreign experts packing. Inflation capital flow top agenda as MPC meets. Inflation capital flow top agenda as the Monetary Policy Committee meets. Buhari or Basanjo clash over election alert. Or Basanjo APC clash over poll alert. Um, still on the nation newspaper. A 96 billion, sorry, 9 billion dollars at Dangote refinery. CBN reiterates support for indigenous femme. And finally, Saraki's political model, Killing Kwara, says Abdul Razak. And that's all on the Nation newspaper. Okay, now to the Vanguard newspaper. We have this story that says, uh, Polls, INEC plotting to recruit empowered beneficiaries as ad hoc staff, CUPP alleges. They are in the news. They've been in the news uh, mm -hmm. these days. And uh, INEC plotting to recruit empowered beneficiaries as ad hoc staff, that's coming from CUPP. And now uh, we have this one that says Lagos Assembly may receive 2019 budget today. Lagos Assembly may receive 2019 budget today. And also, still on Vanguard newspaper, we have ACF, Afeni Ferry, or Anizi, Pandef, others react as Oshiba Obasanjo bombs Buari again. ACF, Afeni Ferry, or Anizi, Pandef. Others react as Obasanjo bombs Buhari again. And uh, this other story says 2019 campaign. How Edo people received Buhari. How Edo people received Buhari. We'll take this one that says uh, general elections. APC will win within three hours of voting. And that's coming from Akpabio. And the last story we'll take says uh, endorsement to Buhari is in obedience to Ghani Fawemi's directive and that's coming from Emmanuel Umoy. Our endorsement to Buhari is in obedience to Ghani Fawemi's directive and that's coming from Emmanuel Umoy. And that wraps it up on the Vanguard newspaper today. All right, moving away now to the front page of the Daily Trust. Um, the headline here reads, Our passenger attacks Buhari or Shimbaju, INEC. Uh, Obasanjo attacks Buhari, Oshimbanjo Ayenek, and the writer says, you are sick, get well soon, presidency replies. Um, that uh, report begins on the front page and continues on, on page five of the Daily Trust. And still on the front page, National Assembly begins budget debate this week. National Assembly begins budget debate this week. Um, details on page three. And still on the front page, strike. 
ASU tells government to release 50 billion naira. Details on page 6. Federal government releases 9.7 billion naira for foreign scholarships. Federal government releases 9.7 billion naira for foreign scholarships. Uh, you find details of that on page 3. Uh, still on the front page, Dangote Fertilizer plans to begin operations in April. Dangote Fertilizer plans to begin operations in April. And that's all for the front page of the Daily Trust. Um, the usuals. Yes, um, it, it, some stories got my eye here, but um, from the National Assembly beginning the budget debate this week to ASU and all. But I think the one that um, I really, that really caught my eye is the, the, the fact that the federal government is going to be releasing 9.7 billion naira for foreign scholarships, and that's on the front page of the Daily Trust. Um, it, it, again, while it is good to you know have people go out and study, but was, it means that we're, we're already spe um, having 9.7 billion naira, you know, spent outside of this country on education. Uh, what that could be spent here if we have if our education system is just you know put right we could have that 9.7 billion naira retained in the country and in the economy that's it money's been you know spent outside of the country well i, I think i agree with you and uh, you know our money spent in the country is actually far better because one way or the other it will add to the development of the economy um, but for me the one that really uh, caught my attention is the fact that uh, the cupp uh, coalition of United Political Parties, parties they are yes. alleging that uh, INEC is plotting to recruit beneficiaries of the Empire uh, scheme as the ad hoc staff. So, big allegations coming from the CUPP. They've been in the news of late, remember, uh, making reactions to different uh, uh, topics as far as Nigeria is concerned. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's really interesting. That to me is the one that caught my attention. Yeah, CPP has been, like you said, on the news and they've been making a lot of allegations against the federal government. Um, it's, it's, it's election season, so um, we're going to have allegations and counter-allegations, but how through they are uh, will be proven with time. So we'll see how, how that goes. And, and all. We know that INEC is, is, um, INEC is recruiting ad hoc staff at the moment, so we'll, figure, we'll, we'll find out how that goes. But that's the much we can take on uh, the paper review segment this morning. We're going to take a break now, and when we return, we'll delve into a topic of the day, which is on the 2019 presidential debate. We're going to be analyzing you know, that debate. Stay with us.